Another one of my projects that begins with a shovel. My goal in this video is to build a short wall out of cobblestones around these three crepe myrtles that are arranged in a triangle. That way my wife's turtles can have a place in the yard to hang out. And I think it'll make this corner of our yard look a bit more civilized. Here I'm just scraping a few inches off the surface. Because I want to mortar the stones in place, I want to get rid of any loose dirt and random stumps and roots that might cause the wall to move around and settle after I lay it down. I want the base of the wall to be pretty level, and I'm using a laser level to make this really easy. I can quickly check level at any spot and see where I need to scrape a bit more dirt off. My goal at this stage is to get everything within a half inch or so, and then I can try to wring out another fraction of an inch when I put down paver base. Before I start laying paver base here, there's a pipe I want to run to I'm tap into this pipe here and run this so that uh, I can have like a mister or a sprinkler or something back here. I dug a trench here for the pipe, I'm gluing together the PVC and just creating a stub that sticks out of the ground that I'll connect later after I finish building the wall. Once I build the wall over top of here, it'll be like this trench never even happened. This is the stuff I'm going to be using as the base for my little wall here. Fill this area, tamp it down, try to get it level all the way around, and then I'll start laying my stones. To build the wall, I ordered two pallets of cobblestones from Home Depot. Delivery was pretty easy. The driver just rolled them into the driveway off of the truck. Just like with bricks, I need the cobblestones to be clean of any dirt and sand and other debris that would prevent the mortar from bonding to it. Unlike bricks, cobblestones are each shaped a little differently. These are nominally 9 by 5 by 5 inches, but there's quite a bit of variation, and I needed to play Legos for a few minutes to visualize how everything was going to fit together. I ended up using seven bags of mortar. Each bag is 60 pounds each. I used Type N mortar, which should be plenty strong to hold everything together, but not totally indestructible if we ever decide we want to do something else with this part of the yard. I'm building these little towers because I want to put a bench here so that we can sit and relax in this area if we want, especially if the misters work out the way I hope they will. Mortaring everything is pretty straightforward. You water down the stone, slap some mortar on top, and wiggle the stone into place. All right, this is after about uh, two hours letting it dry. It's gonna be stiffer, but not hard. So I can take this and kind of clean up this joint a little bit. You want it to be stiffer so that when you run it along it doesn't just, you know, cause all the goop to fall out, but you don't want it to be completely hard either. It's a lot easier to do this with bricks. This is what it looks like after drying for a day. Starting to look kind of nice, kind of like a real wall here. Okay, I've got the first row placed. I think it looks pretty good. And in the back here, I have the setup for the bench. I'm gonna put one more row of stone on either side here, and I'll have a piece of wood going over the top.
this is the second row. Installed. I think it looks pretty good. Or in any case, uh, it's roughly what I was going for. So, um, still got some wet mortar left, so I'm gonna pack in some of these vertical joints before this stuff dries, and then, uh, that's gonna be it for today. I went ahead and put down landscape fabric after the second row of stones because I thought I was done with the wall. Unfortunately, during quality assurance testing, one of the turtles quickly found a way to escape by climbing over the wall. When I added the third row of stones, I spaced them apart a little bit to give the area a kind of a castle-ish vibe, while still making it difficult for anyone to escape. Last thing I need to do before I'm totally done is hook up the water and install some misters inside the triangle. Turns out both turtles and people really like mist to cool off in the summer. Last year I ran three quarter inch pipe from my DIY backyard well all the way to my front yard. So I can tap into that for water. And I got some quarter inch tubing, a water timer, and some misters from Home Depot, connected it all up, and we're in business. So I'm pretty sure I just sort of, I just hooked this stuff up. Really? I don't think you guys are supposed to be doing that. 